Okay, we're back again, guys, with another DJI Mavic clone. Again, this is not a competitor for the DJI. It's just a clone on the way it looks. I can't stress that enough. This is just a toy. This is brushed motors. There's no GPS. There's no fancy camera. This is just an awesome little novelty um, giving you the design of a DJI Mavic um, you know, in a, in a $40 package. I mean, you really can't complain, um, but we're definitely going to take it up, see how it performs as a nice, you know, fun toy, a nice backyard flyer, even a first beginner quadcopter. Um, I think this is going to be a nice little flyer. So, uh, just a couple of things to talk about. You do get a USB charger with this. You do get extra spec, uh, set of propellers. And of course they do have two different options available. They have the uh, ready to fly with a transmitter or in that bind and fly because technically you can fly this with just the transmitter uh, Just the cell phone if you want to with the app, but as you guys know, I'm not a fan of that So we're not gonna really focus on that today We're gonna focus on how it flies with the transmitter because that's how I love to fly nice sporty flyer But we'll call this the wisdom drone because I have no idea um, You know what uh, how to pronounce that uh, the actual name of it But I'll have a link in the description below as this was provided by GearBest if you guys want to pick it up so let's go ahead and take it up for a flight and see how see how it does actually before we go for a flight just I think now you guys are probably going to be considering this or have seen my video of the uh, Vizio um, uh, Mavic uh, clone look like this is a fantastic flyer really love uh, this quadcopter for what it is being a toy Wi-Fi FPV um, it's just a really awesome this was uh, first to the market with that DJI style um, you know clone but I think this this quad, quadcopter here, the Wisdom, did a better job of that cloning. You see how the arms fold? They actually fold like the DJI does, with the with the upper arms and the lower arms having a having a, a you know a, a two different heights on it. That's pretty cool. And then the the kind of the the pretend battery bay with the button on top uh, looks really cool. The front. Uh, part of the canopy looks very really similar so I think they did a, a really nice job with uh, you know having that DJI look um, and the um, propellers being foldable too so really making it ultra ultra compact um, you know especially in compared to the Vizio uh, drone which I think is a fantastic drone but look how compact that is with all the propellers uh, folded up like that so pretty cool so let's go ahead and get it up for a flight it does come with a uh, 680 milliamp uh, lipo with a micro low C connector on it that has that on off switch which is really awesome so we're gonna go ahead and turn the quadcopter on we're gonna put it on a level surface and we're gonna turn it on the lights flash we turn our transmitter on we're gonna and it looks like it throttle it looks like it binds nope you got to throttle up then down and it should bind to the quadcopter so it should be bound now let's just make sure real quick and go ahead and take it up. Nope. Actually, you know what? I think what you need to do is you have to turn the transmitter on first on this one. So transmitter first, then quadcopter. Throttle up and down. Now it's bound. I don't see the lights flashing. So now we're bound. So some really nice functions on this transmitter. Um, you have the flip button, auto, uh, take off and land as this is altitude hold this is going to have the start stop of the motors return to home and it should be a headless mode uh the flip button here on the top right actually uh this is a this is a kind of a it makes it spin so it's kind of a little show button uh this is going to be your flip button so that and then giving it the direction and then on the top left is going to be your rate mode so you have high rate low rate and mid rate if you can see that uh, right there on the top so that's really nice we're gonna go ahead and connect to the quadcopter as well so it should be giving off a Wi-Fi signal and there it is right there something something UFO we're gonna get our FPV signal here and hope hopefully we can record this flight and the app that you're, that you're going to download is called J-A-D-U-F-O, which it does give you the barcode scanner in the instructions. We're going to hit play. And then we should, yep, we've got our FPV signal. Oh, one thing I did forget to talk about on this camera, this is adjustable. So you can actually go pretty vertical, pretty, you know, horizontal and then completely down as well. So that's really awesome. We're going to keep it just a slight angle. 
but there's our FPV signal. You're not gonna wanna really usually fly with FPV on the Wi-Fi flyers. It's really more to line up your shot. But let's go ahead and record. Recording is on. It's all gonna save to your phone. There's no SD card on the craft. So going ahead and taking it up. So auto takeoff. Goes ahead and turns on our motors. Comes up nice and gently. So this is a brushed quad. And look at that transmitter. It's, it's straight up Xbox style. The <laughs> sticks down below. I think that was kind of interesting. And of course your trim tabs here. So this is on our low rate. Very docile. There's really not any wind right now. So we've got really lucky here. Oh, look at those birds ch chase that big bird. It's hiding in the tree. That was crazy. Oh, they're like attacking it. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and put it in mid rate. So that's our mid rate. A little bit more aggressive roll to it and pitch. And then our high rate looks about the same. I think our pitch is a little bit more aggressive. Those birds are going crazy. <laughs> yeah, it chased that big bird off. All right, so coming around here, this is our highest rate. So I would say right off the bat, not as fast as the Vizio, but not a bad flyer. I would say you'd probably want to avoid too much wind with this one, but nice and smooth. It's a nice little sporty quad. We'll definitely keep it in high rate as we're outside. Let's see how the flips are. Let's do a forward flip. Nice, good flip. Side, other side, back flip. Good, good flips. This is a good, good flipper. It's a little, a little twitchy when you, when you let go of the stick off of a hard turn, but that's probably because it's got altitude hold. So you don't have to you don't have to manage your altitude. I don't know if you can see those LEDs, but we've got green on the back, red on the front, which help with orientation, but really only if you're underneath it. You can't really see it in the day, at least behind it. But the altitude hold is working very well. Let's see how it is to come down. A lot of times these flyers are a little hard to get down. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. I'm full stick down and it's going down very slow. So keep that in mind when you're flying, but the altitude hold is working very well, keeping its altitude very nicely. This makes it really easy to fly. And if you guys are beginners have no know what I'm talking about, so basically it's, you don't have to manage the up and down, which is your altitude. Um, it's always center stick, so it basically keeps itself, you know, at that position. So all you've got, you can learn how to fly forward, back, left and right. A lot of people really like this when they're beginners. Um, because it makes it easier to learn. I personally have mixed feelings about it. Whoop. It's a nice feature for beginners. So I'm not sure what happened there. She just totally dropped out, which the Vizio did to me as well. I'm guessing it's probably because the Wi-Fi signal is interfering because they both run off 2.4 gigahertz. So let's see if we can turn it back on. And we did. Oh, you know what? I just noticed that one of the arms is a little... It also does have an auto... Um, engines like the motor stop like an emergency motor stop which is nice so let's go ahead and take it up again yeah I'm guessing it's the Wi-Fi but speaking of Wi-Fi you know I didn't really get a chance to check out our latency here and oh, I'm getting a lot of ground footage I think from that crash it's very laggy this is definitely not FPV able at all super laggy but it'll let you it'll let you line up the shot and get what you need to. We're in high rate now. So nice and smooth. It's a nice little sporty flyer. Let's go ahead and try the return the home button here and see if it remembers our orientation we took off. All right, one press. Now, you know what? That is the headless mode. So no matter which way you turn the craft, the way is away from you, back is back. I think it's going to be press and hold for the one key return. So let's go ahead and do one, press and hold. There's our one key return. Good job. I mean, it kept its orientation from where I took off. 
so that looks good. And let me show you this spin feature. That's this button here. So you press it and it just spins. I, I don't know why you would need to do that, but I guess just something different. You know what I find, the LEDs aren't really easy to see, but the orientation's easy to tell on this one. So, nice flyer. Let's do a, um, let's do a fail safe test here real quick and see if this thing wants to fly away on us. I'm gonna keep it low just in case I gotta knock it out of the sky here. But I'm gonna disconnect the transmitter, so basically in the event you were to lose range with this guy, let's see what happens. Uh, turning our transmitter off. And she's flying. Let's see if it drops. Wow. That took a while. It eventually did drop, but it definitely took a while. So be careful with this one. If you lose connection with it, uh, that could be bad news. So keep that in mind, guys. Whoa! That was interesting, <laughs> it just took off on me. So, it definitely took a few seconds for it to kill the, the motors it did, but that could very easily turn into a bad situation. You know what, let me, um, you know, not this FPV footage is not gonna be really useful anyways, so we won't show the whole thing in the video anyways, but I was gonna say we can fix the camera, but back in high rate. It's a nice, smooth, stable flyer. Very expected feel, altitude hold works very well. You know what, I just saw the lights flashing, so I'm guessing that's our low voltage warning. Yep, our lights are flashing, so that's gonna, I'm gonna bring it down just in case. I don't wanna ruin this battery here. You never wanna go completely dead. We'll do the one touch landing. That's this button here. And see if she brings herself down, and it does. There you go. All right, so that was the flight review of the Wisdom provided by Gearbest. Again, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to pick it up. Um, just an awesome novelty. They did a fantastic job with making this look like a DJI Mavic. Um, again, it's not going to replace any Mavic, but it's a cool novelty to have. And that foldable uh, design with the foldable props is really awesome. Compared to the Vizio, um, it's got, it's got some benefits to it. I think a beginner would like the altitude hold over the Vizio, but to me the Vizio is a little faster of a flyer, a little more sportier, but uh, this was a lot of fun either way. Um, I think anybody would, would, uh, would enjoy having this just for the fact that it looks like a Mavic and then it actually, it actually does fly and work. All the functions work. The Wi-Fi FPV is a bit laggy, um, you know, so don't expect to be able to fly with that through your phone, but it's a nice, you can get your you know, you can get your shots, you know, set up the way you like. Anyways, hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys have any uh, questions or comments, hit me up in the comments down below. Again, I'll have the link in the description if you want to pick it up. As always, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day and happy flying life.